It's not something you see every day. Students singing Ave Maria during Mass to start their school day. This is Hawthorne School for Girls in Toronto, Canada, where alongside education, character and faith formation are priorities. Being able to come to school and be surrounded with people who have the same beliefs as me just makes me feel at home. I think it's very nice that we have a chapel at the center of our school because we are always deep in thought in our studies, but we can take a break and really get to know God more, and He can always help us whenever we need help. Founded in 1989, Hawthorne is a non-profit independent school that follows the traditional classical liberal arts with a strong emphasis on each student's personal development. My favorite subject is art. It's really helped me like embrace my creativity. My favorite subject is gym because I just feel like I've learned how to work better as a team. Now I know that I can rely on my other teammates to help me get the ball back over the net. And religion is a big part of my life. Why is my line not straight? Is it supposed to be straight? Mrs. Irian Flores is the school head and says here, parents cannot be hands off in their child's education. What do you focus on here? What's the primary goal at this school? At Hawthorne, we believe that parents are primary educators of their children. And so with that comes the factor that whenever we accept a student, it's not just a student, we're accepting the family. So it's a very tight-knit community. The school was established 35 years ago by a group of parents who felt it was getting harder in an increasingly secular Canada to find a good Catholic education. So basically Shakespeare dreamed up So they took it into their own hands and say they started the kind of school they wanted to send their children to. Having been in Hawthorne, you will be able to respond to all those demanding questions that the world will put on you. Father Eric Nikolai is the school chaplain. We don't always see him, even though we don't always recognize him. Jesus is always close to us. So these, these parents got together with their friends and said, let's do something, let's really do a good school for our children, for our girls, right? And some of those friends were Catholic, some of them were not Catholic, and they got together and they produced what we know today as Hawthorne. Being a smaller school than most, it means a more intimate educational experience for the pupils. Sarah Marchak is one of the teachers. Okay, so joy does not equal happiness. I love working here. I get excited to see the girls. They are all so lovely and energetic and interested in learning. Like to be with them in heaven. And for the students too, it's a chance to form stronger relationships with the teachers and stronger bonds with each other. Having that faith will help us rely on God and ask Him for help if we need it during school. If I'm studying for a long period of time, it allows me to really focus on dedicating that time to some, something else and just taking my mind off of it. Maria Aruda is a mother of one of the pupils and explains why she and her husband decided to send her daughter here. We knew exactly we needed an all-girls school, we needed a small school, and we wanted a Catholic school. So when we came for the interview um, at Hawthorne, the admissions director, Rhonda Woods, you know, I was making excuses saying, oh, but we live so far, are we sure? And she said, you have one chance to raise your daughter. And it's been the best chance we took. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. The school is funded by tuition as well as private donations and follows the Ontario educational curriculum. However, as an independent school, Hawthorne students must take philosophy, ethics and moral theology and do double the number of community service hours in order to graduate. We are providing an education that's based on things that have stood withstood the test of time. They do say that Hawthorne is the best kept secret in, in Toronto and in Canada so because we're the only one. Let's not tell anybody. No. <laughs> the aim here, the staff and faculty say, is to give these young students the best education, but also the best formation that will see them into the future. What are the important lessons that you've learned at the school? 
I think helping others is one important thing. When you're serving others, you put yourself aside and you really feel like you have a purpose in that moment to help others and to focus less on yourself. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We want them to come away from Hawthorne when they leave and they go off to university with a deep sense of, you know, wow, the Catholic Church is it's just like rich and beautiful and I want to transmit it to others. I want to be a vehicle. I want to be like, I want to be an instrument to bring this beauty to others. In Toronto, Colm Flynn, EWTN News In Depth.